Morning, chat. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Good to see you all here. How's the number ones in chat community doing out there? Yo, thank you very much to everybody smashing the like button. Welcome back to all the new subscribers, longtime subscribers, and all of our members. Welcome. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's live stream of Golf Club Wasteland. A game that looked kind of weird, and I like it. So we're going to give it a try here today and just chill out with some golf. Good to see everybody back. Hopefully you're all uh, enjoying the last day of your weekend. Got some fun streams today. We're going to play this, and then a little later we're going to go back into some uh, uh, Star Citizen and see if we can do some more stuff with maybe uh, eh, maybe Jerry, maybe Red, maybe Alex, maybe maybe Bradford. We'll see. Should be good times. Well, good to see everybody back again. Um, apparently this game is recommended for headphones. Interesting. After the great ecological catastrophe, the ultra-rich moved to Tesla City on Mars. Now citizens of Mars take charter flights to Earth and play golf in the ruins of civilization. Jeff Bezos, is that you? Golf Club Wasteland. Oh, I wanted to hear more space sounds. Those are really calming. If you ever need something to sleep to, go look up sound, uh, sound of, well, well, I guess you wouldn't really call it a sound effect. Maybe, uh, what do they call that? Um, like atmosphere? No, there's some, some other word that they use for it, but like it's, it's the background sound on like, uh, Star Trek and stuff. It always sounds like you're in a submarine, that kind of thing. Pretty cool. <laughs> what do they call that? Like, it's not immersion. It's not, oh God, like, uh, something with an A, like, mm. Ambient, yeah, that's it. Ambient noise, yeah. That's it. Good job, chat. Big brain emotes, yeah. Yeah, ambiance. Or ambient music, yeah, true. You're just online to see the live stream? Awesome. Welcome, Thomas. Good to see you all here. Good morning, Kim. Good to see you as well. Nate, good to see you. Number one community out there. Brant and uh, let's see, we got Eddie James. Shiva, good to see you as well. Ah, yes. Yeah, we're going to uh, play a little round of golf. I, I, the, apparently this game takes about two or three hours to uh, run through, but it just seemed pretty chill, and it was on my list. And some games are interesting enough to where if I, if I don't squeeze them in somewhere, I'll never play them. But it also seems like this is a game about golf. It's <laughs> Golf is, like, appropriate at any time. It's, it's a good time for golf. You know what I mean? It's, like it's, a, good, it's a good time for hamburgers any time, you know? Pizza, if you will. All right. Well, anyway, um, I don't know exactly uh, what the game is about aside from just like, I don't know if there's like a full story to it or whatnot. I tried it for about 10 minutes last night just to see if it would hold my interest, and it certainly did. So, all right. Well, we'll jump through, and apparently, wait a minute. Is, if that's Earth, that means it's all water now? Or, okay. Maybe? I'll look like it. Diary. Uh, let's see. Subtitles, large subtitles. I guess we'll leave that for now. Inverted aim. Uh, no. Let's see. English, German, Russian, Spanish. Oh, boy. Some of these are going to be different. Some possibly Chinese, uh, Mandarin and simplified Chinese. Japanese, French, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, and, of course, Vietnamese. I'm just kidding, it's Korean. All right, let's uh, start a new game um, and see what it's all about. Is that the uh, hand of the Statue of Liberty? Maybe? I don't remember a hand looking like that, but all right. Let's go. Uh, let's see, are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes, show tutorial, sure. Maybe that'll add more story. Welcome to Wasteland. I ran to the restricted area where the taxi ship landed. Contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. What now? Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. Martian cement for the buildings. Oh, okay, so we're on pure little Mars. The future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. 
Men like me who saved humanity. Where's the hole? Men like me who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. And remain creatures of the world. What? Oh my god. You're a tight beam to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth. Feels like the ball's a little heavy. Oh god, is this gonna be DMCA? No! Now it's gonna be DMCA hell. Well, since this game mostly seems to be about music, thanks to everybody who drops super chats and becomes some members. Because I'm not gonna be able to monetize this DMCA death trap. A radioactivity. Usually a group would arrive. Is that a cow? Wait, the cow's udders are glowing. Yeah! Hole in one. That was awesome. First try. Uh, woo! Outskirts of Alphaville. Became my habit to watch them play from behind the fence. Is this from the perspective of the cow? Or that guy? Um, Alright, be wary of water. Wow, right in the middle. Oh, come on. What? Wow, that ball is way heavier than I think it is. There we go. Kim, thank you very much for the two. You like the music? Me too. They wore protective suits like giants, uh, insects with jetpacks. Let's do story mode. Wow, this ball is way heavier than I thought it was. Yeah, that ball is way too heavy. A uh, new diary unlocked. Once they spotted me and tried to hunt me down. Hey, that's that's a real monument, isn't it? This thing. In order to unlock, um... Oh... In order to unlock the diaries, we've got to get three strokes, two strokes... Okay. So wait, can I go back here and try it again? Oh, you can reset the levels, okay. So in order to know the lore, you've got to, uh... You gotta get it in too many, um, not too many strokes. You're home away from home. From Mars. Creatures of the world. Now that's attracted, takes us back. Four strokes or less? Like bitch, Three? Pining for blue skies. 
plus musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. <laughs> all senior Section team leaders will convene for emergency counselling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups oh, wait. than four people at a time. It's always heavier than I think. In the interim, teams are encouraged to no. take advantage of the half ration special on Omas, the delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. Our next corner, the meal, takes us into her world. <sighs> there we go. Smells, sensuality, blue skies. And sings us a personal song. There's like a narrator. He's a radio opera. Um, Mémoire, bon vieux temps. Alex, is that you? Fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. De Mars. Man, thanks for the 15 months is wrapped right. Let's get a spacesuit check in the chat. Everybody, check your spacesuits. I'm happy to be alive. But I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. Uh, I guess and they thought I was contaminated, a dangerous. Radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. Seems like it's a good idea to do a playthrough of the game and then go back. I've been nostalgic since I was twenty. And get any of the holes you missed, or try to get a hole in one. I felt different. Each country has its smell. And then Mars read all the uh, diary stuff. Where I come from. The smell of the ocean, mango, banana, coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful sun of Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that made me into the person. Hi, birds. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So, now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is... That says thanks in Greek? Interesting. Como fue, no sé decirte cómo fue. No, no sé explicarme qué pasó, pero de ti me enamoré. Fue una luz que iluminó. <sighs> What is the uh, par on this one? Twelve? Oh no, twelve is maximum. Wait, how do you... I guess the best way to tell is just to go to the diary? Is Jerry still celebrating? Jerry doesn't celebrate, but others can celebrate Jerry. Jerry has a hash brown. Is Jerry celebrating a birthday? Or just the fact that DoorDash got his order right? <sighs> Wait, now that I know that, can I just do this? See, I, th I thought it would fall down here. So I think we got to go up over top. What a wonderful story. Okay. Reminds us that life is about so much more. Now I feel dumb. Space survival. Well, living in space is. I was playing it safe. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. All you, all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment, relax, and remember with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Wow. A Russian and an American work together in space. A ferret 
different sight from the Cold War arms race. Whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoyevsky, Yesenian or Jack London, Jurassic Journals are beautiful art. That is an international relations to astronauts. What the hell is this song? Yo, Aaron, thanks for the 26 months as a raptor hatchling, dude. Thank you very much. America, Ubila Yaratsev, Ubila Che, Arena, Ila Mundi, Ana Ubila Karetsev, Ivetnantsev, Rosprostranya. Democratio, don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer under Zars, my friend. Dan, are you singing? Is this your song, Dan? Containers with contraband. But this was strange. This one, he played alone. Happy birthday to Jerry. Wait, why is Jerry super chatting five for that? Oh, well. Is it your birthday or not, Mustard Man? Nobody knows. Wait, what color is Jerry's eye? <laughs> it is. Jerry's mustard color now. It's Aaron's birthday today. Happy birthday, Aaron. Thank you very much for the 26 months. Is it, is it Jerry's birthday today? It's like we got like two or three birthdays going on. I, I can't keep it straight now. Is this a minefield? Oh. Alright, it's, ev it's everybody's birthday in chat. Yay! Happy birthday, everybody. I'm getting better. Uh, Alice and Kay, thanks for the six months. Appreciate that. Happy birthday to you as well. New diary entry unlocked. Yacht without a party, so I followed him. <laughs> it's a raft. still land in the pool. Damn. Nope. Gotta get around here. Better. Is that a gun? Oh. There's a gun there. Anatur Chende and arguably the first interplanetary hit to astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids. No. Oh my god, I hate that pool. Some of you don't like it. What? But all water is recycled. Pee. So pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently I need to land our right there. Official little Martian to the colony, and our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. <laughs> Damn it! That kid distracted me. Damn it! I'm so happy you moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. Oh, that's better. 
I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. Okay, we just need to get down there. Angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the Ark ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to what? find human survival in that the system. What? That went in the hole, system. didn't it? Oh, it did, okay. Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting uh, news. Just a week Katawa ago... Katawa in the hills, let me tell you my story. Words cannot express how overjoyed are we are at welcoming Lil missile Hansen. launchers? Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, we can see the Earth, tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of my home in the Hamptons. The nature, coastline, the old lighthouse, and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, oh. full of life Damn compared it. to this barren, rugged terrain. I send my little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain at least on a rudimentary okay. level. How does pulling back a little bit? She sang like oh. this. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that, okay, that's better. Damn it. Wasn't Tesla City one of the cities in Frostpunk too? I thought there was like a Tesla City in there. Thank you, Sophia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life always finds a way. Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains it. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars. So another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each, with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC, who oh my God. The urine to be excluded from <gasps> the water recycling program, which will actually reduce allocated shower times to 27 seconds. Okay. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of Omas. Feels good? As it should. Radio nostalgia from Mars. There was a dead city in uh, Frostpunk. It had all the machines. Okay. Gotcha. Gonna be the death of me. We did it under uh, par too. A few years ago, the weather became severe. Have I ever watched golf on TV? There's always the one guy that shouts, "Get in the hole while the golfer is teeing off." Oh yeah, brother. Amen. Coffee. What's the name of this level? It's Pafefi Ideology. Oh, that's what it says. Kofefi? Kofefi? 
Fossils like you thought so Make up six on Sunday's day. Oh. That must be, um. That must be quicksand down there. It's like ice cream in the sun. It doesn't fool anyone. Yep. Look at this bird. Oh, it's a sand trap, okay. quickly indeed another blast from the past reminding us to savor each moment as it flies by speaking of savoring things the health and well-being department would like us to remind you that the popping and fizzing noise your dried food makes when you're adding water is perfectly normal and does not mean it has gone off or is contaminated Oh, nice. Nope, bad. The health and well-being department would also like to take this moment to remind you to take your bone density pills. Bone density now. pills? As what? it was discovered, the original dose is off by a factor of two. Right, on with the show. Wow, this the game is so precise. Has always been a mainstay of stress relief and letting go. Our next caller, Merva, recalls her teenage clubbing days with vivid memories of awkward first kisses and a life-altering club experience invoking a philosophical nope. epiphany. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic to me, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. Much better. There we go. So, when I was a kid in Vienna, in high school, Do I have to, get... to learn all the German I wonder words. if I have to get over that. Best friends, Goethe and Schiller. But the first poet that actually spoke yep. to me was Heinrich Heine. I knew a couple of Heine's poems by heart that are now buried somewhere deep in my mind. <sighs> but one passage about burning books stuck with me. Yes, even till today. So, just to fast forward to college, just a couple of years before the great catastrophe, I was walking around Berlin with a group of friends there we go. coming from a house party. Pui, I, yeah, I still Neon hearts and chat. Starvation and epi epidemic potatoes. spread. Yes, because we always made pommes and drank schnapps before heading out. Yeah. Hey, cows. And. After oh, that, you can zoom I out. Nice. Passing by Alexanderplatz on that very, very hot night, and next to me was a guy I liked. We kissed before, but I can't say I really remember that. Probably from all the drinking, or maybe he was just a bad kisser. <laughs> but I can still feel this sticky, sweaty, and very ambivalent feeling of us holding hands. Yeah, anyways, we popped some pills and entered our techno church that, well, now when I think back, I visited more often than my college. Oh, come on, I should have should have <laughs> went up and over. I remember the beat in my chest and all these young bodies moving in this industrial space. Hey, we did it, new diary. Dancing and counting Migrant motel. Uh, songs, we were without food and the water made us sick. Very strange. It just went repetition, 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 and then this female vocal Wait, that... would creep out of nowhere. I thought he was stuck in the ground. And then suddenly I felt very dizzy, so I sat on the ground and held my knees closely to my chest. It was some sort of like, you know, like protective instinct. I was like an animal. And I felt cold sweat dripping down my neck. Ugh. And oh. I'm sure my guy thought I was completely crazy. And then out of nowhere, the Heine lines clearly came to Hey, did the cow me. eat I my... I sat oh. there motionless, surrounded by the ugly, hypnotic, ugh, delirious atmosphere. 
and no effort to recall Heine's lines. Damn they were cow. just there, planted in my head. Did the cow? Did the, the cow eat that? Die Zeiten drüben heran und der Prophet, der eine neue Apokalypse schreiben wollte, musste ganz neue Bestien erfinden. Und zwar so erschreckliche, dass die älteren Johannischen Tiersymbole dagegen nur sämtliche Täubchen und Amoretten yeah, I think wären. Die Güter that's the guy writing the journals. Die Handels aus Mitleid mit den Menschenkindern, ihren langjährigen oh Pfleglingen. Und vielleicht zugleich What the? auch aus Besorgnis how, how did that über das move? eigene Schicksal. Wow. And yeah, two years later, I ended up here on Mars. Why is she speaking French? Ishmael and the albino giraffe, a privileged few escape to Mars. bring back memories of university days and sweaty club nights. A giraffe? Earthly hedonism at its finest. For the record, in case of apocalypse style, 1 800 help us God. Drugs and reminds you, dear listeners, that Class A drugs are just as illegal here on Mars as they were on Earth. All right, well, okay, disclaimer out of the way. We actually have a surprise. It's kind of hard to tell, like, if you can bounce things. I, I guess you have to, like, restart levels because, like, to hear. shouldn't I be able to bounce it this way? Yeah, OMS and enjoy the there'd be no other way to know that. Pure calm. The deepest tunes, the warmest memories. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Repetition, 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 Oh my god. Fuck yeah. What's up, Taranato? Uh, we should probably play golf with your friends sometimes. How, how, members, that'd be a cool thing for us to do. How many people can play um, golf with your friends at a time? WC, my mother gave birth to an albino baby. Me. Wash closet? Yep. Is this the is this the YouTube algorithm? First try. Elevator to nowhere. She died soon after the great catastrophe. Well, look at those houses in the background. What does that say?
Damn it, there was a sand trap there. Um, does that go anywhere? Oh, maybe it comes out there? No, that's just water. I think we need to get it in the elevator. What's up with the lyrics of the song? Oh, it's, it's like all marketing. Purchase, consume, consume, purchase. I mean, it's basically like this. Yeah, you know, it's like, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for all your support today. Thank you very much for 105% of everybody hitting the like button. And thanks to every single person watching becoming a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for purchase, consume. Consume, purchase. Consume, purchase. Purchase, consume. Consume, purchase. Purchase, consume. You're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Well, what can I say? No wonder that song got into her head. But with a little help from some friends, she pulled through. Another thing that can get into your head is living conditions here on Mars. Life up here on Mars can get a bit overwhelming at times, so along with a soothing OMAS drink, no stress, no fuss, it bears mentioning that wellness counseling is mandatory for all team members, regardless of rank or tenure. The wellness sessions Wait. are completely confidential and anonymous, but do remember that all conversations are monitored and recorded for security reasons. I hope it can go in the elevator. Have your ID badge and sectional access pass visible at all times. Oh, good. Okay, time for another story. Our last caller for Tussol Show is Francesco, who tells a haunting tale of his last days on Earth as the great catastrophe kicked into high gear. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radio nostalgia. Oh, Mars. we can go to the right now. It was oh. an extremely humid summer. How am I going to? Oh, here. My parents would not let me out because of the flaws in Italy. My father went outside and was working in the greenhouse on the vineyard. No. My mother was a doctor. She read Italian fairy tales to me. Oh my god. I was very small, but I remember many days when our neighbors would gather at our house and make plans. It rained heavily at night. They would only say to me, powerful people want to take my great-great-grandfather's land. But one image stuck in my memory. It was daybreak. I woke up and I could faintly oh, hear in the dark. What? Oh, do we have to go up and over? Oh, no. I later understood the history behind this song. Hold on. Outside I saw men and women, my father and mother, rifles in their hands. My father was crying and singing. I was at the door of the house. My mother turned, smiled at me, but it was a mysterious, confident smile. Raccomando ai compagni vicini di tenermi da conto i bambini che io muoio col suo nome nel cuore. What is he talking about? Of course. I had no idea where they were buried. Traditori, signori ufficiali, che la guerra l'avete... Oh, he's talking about purchasing and consuming? Okay. Those should be the only songs. Consume, purchase, purchase, consume. For trust and safety. Twelve 
years later, the Mars mission. In a way, the people who killed my parents found me in Italy and recruited me. Saved me, you can say. It is ironic, no? My parents fought for freedom. Nope. I cannot say I'm free here on Mars. They took my semen this morning for the population increase. <sighs> oh, come on. Now I have to go to the bottom? On Mars. Oh Often my god. in the middle of the night, I hear my parents say, Oh my god. Ugrizia tu sei maledetta per ogni cuore che sente coscienza dolorosa ci fu la portenza oh my God. e il ritorno per molti non fu Gorizia, tu sei mai. Ah, there we go. Detta, per ogni cuore che sente coscienza, dolorosa ci fu la partenza e il ritorno. Oh, come on. That glass has got to be bulletproof. Oh, what? Okay, that... Alright, confirmed. Bulletproof ballistic glass. Good song. again boys I wonder if there's a steam achievement for getting it through the basketball hoop
these games like Jump King or um, Getting Over It. Painful. Third, third time's a charm. <sighs> oh, there's a third one? We got to go a third time? Was that lucky? And uh, first try holding one, chat. Excellent. We did it. Yeah. Deepest tunes, the warmest memories. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Well, that brings us to the end of the show. It's been a real journey. Music, stories, and memories. Radio nostalgia from Mars has it all. Aphrodite with a selfie stick. RNFM, have a I lived with a pack of dogs feeding share. on cats, Contact rats, and bugs. Via the wow. internet channels and leave a short message outlining your contribution. Once your story idea is vetted and greenlit by corporate, we'll track you down to organize a time to record you. Please note that not all stories are accepted and we are not permitted to give out criteria, so stories and ideas are submitted at your own risk. A big thank you to our show sponsor, OMAS, the no stress, no fuss drink for the ultra elite. And a big thank you to corporate for allocating us this precious time and their resources on this tight beam to you. I hope you've enjoyed the show. It's been a pleasure to take your hand. We're playing out with Crowded in My Mind, a song that always reminds us that no matter how uh, camped and stuffy we feel, in the end, there is always a breath of fresh air in memories of blue skies. Musica is dobri dobry Radio nostalgia samas. Okay, we need to get to there. Oh, there's a big red button, chat. I kind of think we should hit that button. There also seems to be a pipe that goes all the way up here. Yeah, 
If we hit that button, maybe there's a way to like get up this pipe here to get up top to then go in through one of the windows, maybe? Never press the red button? Alright, well now we gotta press the red button. Wait, there's an X there on the floor. Why? The ball's a lot heavier than it seems. By an alien? That's not how gravity works. I wonder if I can break through the glass myself with the ball. close. on the balcony. Hadn't seen a human face for years. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of old Flash games, too. It also reminds me a little bit of getting over it and, um, like, Jump King. Maybe that. Can I not get up that high? Please stand by for next transmission. Wait, I think I could... Oh, we can just do that. Okay. I made it way more complicated. Please uh. stand by for next transmission. In 30 seconds. Uh, okay, I'm standing by, ma'am. Please stand by for next transmission. In 20 seconds. 
In 15 seconds. Uh, In 10 seconds. In 5 seconds. In 1 second. Yeah, I'd say all you Martians out there, welcome to another edition no. of Nostalgia from Mars. Hit the damn railing. Plenty of great stuff coming your way on to Soul Show. You know, a bit of that old Terran flavor. Some more stories from our beloved callers, and news and views from around our base out here among the stars. Like I said, your tight beam to radio nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy. Boy. And it's the boy. No! 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 Uh. Oh, that was so unlucky. Who is that? Uh, that's a gamer. That's what we call a gamer. What the? F uh, man. Yeah, that's better. What happens if you hit 35? Uh, 35 is the level number, so if we hit escape, we're on level 17 out of 35. And then there's uh, 19 strokes, and then you basically want to get as close to, you know, hole in one as you can to unlock all the diaries and stuff. There's like a side story. But we'll never see that. Much better. Nope. Sad times, bad times. What? Oh, come on. What do you think that means, Chad? I already figured it out. Have you? Oh. Some of you are getting it in chat. Some of you are getting it. Only big brains are getting it in the chat. I feel like I should go here. Off the show with the here, club classic Proto here, 2021. Here, a long lost here. Earth Day anthem recently discovered in the archives here on Mars. That should take most of us back to the days when Mars was nothing but an evil Nobody? star in the sky. Nobody in chat? Nobody else? Large social gatherings were still normal and carefree. Speaking of carefree, Look out for three new OMAS flavors, pink, green, and yellow. Pure calm, inner tune. Man, sometimes I think I gotta get these streams sponsored by, like, Ambien. Right, moving on. 
As always, we've collected some stories from Mattress the Giant. Others. And up first is a young man who might just be the luckiest one of us all. A pillow factory. Drama. I nearly missed the boat to Mars. I mean, the rumors about something big happening in Alphaville have been floating for a few years. And of course I'm never going to get back up there again. Fact from fiction. At that time, I barely made it through insurgent territory to this floating ghetto about an hour away from Alphaville by motorboat. I won't go into detail, but the crew I ran with bribed an outpost guard to go have a really long piss. There's well, no way I could get across there. No access way. Their, infranet. their information turned out just as distorted as I think ours, we're screwed. We found one channel that changed everything. Some bright spark in Alphaville had made color-coded spreadsheets of shipping data. Okay, yeah, chat, that understand. is right. It says, click or tap join to become a member today. Don't charts. miss out on opportunities to become a member or more. Out completely. Yep. I mean, nothing was coming out, even on the black market, which incidentally was fully accounted for. Meaning it had to be sanctioned all along. So we knew something was up. Of course, Alphaville Media spun this situation heavily. The insurgents were blamed for everything disrupting supply lines, stealing aid, and so on. But it was really Alphaville stockpiling on a scale unseen in modern history. What tipped us off that they were planning to leave Earth is what they were stockpiling fuel, fuel, fuel. Specifically, dinitrogen tetroxide and hydrazine old school but their chemicals used as rocket fuel they're easy to store but they're highly toxic and require careful handling which explained another gruesome discovery the covert shipping and dumping of bodies a lot of bodies there were so many that some of those bodies had started washing up in our neighborhood so toxic even scavenger stayed away Coincidentally, it suddenly became much easier to get a multi-day work pass into Alphaville. We were so hungry and focused on other resources, we didn't make the connection. We assumed the workers were skipping on the visa. In fact, much better. I was planning to do the exact same thing. So actually, I lucked out. I'm a small guy, and Alphaville was so strapped for labor at that point that I was given an unscreened pass and ended Beautiful. up labor. Moving enormous containers okay. into storage with mechanical suits, but it didn't fit them, so it's just given a scanner instead and told to scan serial numbers all day. It was very hard to breathe, so it traded for a spare hazmat suit from a drunk guard and put it on. Not unusual at all to hang out all day in a hazy. Technically, just walking Close. outside required one those days. That's what saved me twice. Whew. I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty. But those containers were the rocket fuel. Nice. And in no way was it being stored and transported safely. All those guys died. Withered the skin and bone. Bum, bum, Nasty bum, bum, stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Again, it was all hidden in plain sight. Hell, we were all skin and bone at that point. We just assumed everyone was starving. I only got onto one of the last ships up to Mars because I was in a hazmat suit and holding that scanner which i think it stopped working within the first days of my assignment i never told anyone and no one ever asked i guess i was confused with security or something all i remember is being yelled at rushed into a show and then everyone patting me on the back and calling me scully the name embedded in the biometrics of the suit oh yeah we're making it i never saw my crew or this guy again From Mars. Wow, what amazing luck to be in the right suit at the right time. Just goes to show, dressing appropriately for the job can really go a long way. <sighs> Speaking of dressing appropriately, here's a Mars fun fact. Despite an average temperature of well below minus 80 degrees centigrade, if you step outside without a suit on, you won't freeze to death, your blood will boil. That's due to the low atmospheric pressure outside. So please maintain your suits properly and follow decontamination protocols strictly at all times when returning from extra habitat activities. No suit, no life as we say. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Right. 
Yay! Yeah, yeah, finally. Love song remixed for the 22nd. Apparently under par too. Not bad. Espionage of true love. I guess we'll never really be quite sure. All right, squirrels of Elphaville. Until I stumbled on a group hitting an orange ball. The Oak Park Festival? Oh, is that an albino squirrel? There he goes. Ooh, did you see him, Chad? Cool. Uh, where's the hole here? Up there. Okay. Oh, if I if I hit it down here, that squirrel's probably going to take my ball. Copyright? Yeah, this music's probably probably copyright. So, if you want to support the channel, I'd appreciate a sub, a like. Or a hello in the chat. And if that's not good enough, you can always become a member too, if you want to. No pressure or anything. It is free to do all those other things though. Nope. I knew he would take my ball, that damn squirrel. Restart, restart. What's that squirrel gonna do with that anyway? It must think it's a walnut or something. Darn squirrel. You guys ever see an albino squirrel? They're pretty cool. Captain Bam, thanks for the 16 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the support. What? Oh, if it goes in the leaves, that's basically falling in water? <laughs> Flying Llama! Thank you very much for becoming a little raptor! Ah, awesome! Good to see so many new members today. And thank you very much for uh, all the renewals, too. And the milestones. Thanks, folks. Leave me alone, squirrel! Damn it! That damn squirrel. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, and then here, and then go here. Then there's water there, so then we got to land here, 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 here. Now I guess we can land here. I don't think the squirrel comes over here, so I think we're all right. Okay, I, we got a plan. Ah, uh, surveillance love song, an oldie, but a goodie. Sophie Jazz reminding us that love remains as complicated as ever, despite our patented matchmaking algorithms and genetic profiling. All right, we'll get it. On the subject of complications, the Mars Time Conglomerate has asked me to mention that even though a Mars Sol is 40 minutes longer than a day on Earth, you do not have to manually add 40 minutes to your clocks every sol. We are officially on Mars clock time, so every second, minute, and hour across all systems and devices are 2.7% longer by design. I know it's confusing at first, but just keep time as usual. For all practical purposes, we live a 24-hour day up here, just like we did on Earth. Okay, on with the show. Well, we've had a few requests for some classical music, and boy do I have a double treat for all you classical and vinyl lovers out there. A genuine record playing off an actual record player on loan from a dedicated RNFM fan. So 
So grab a tube of OMS, sit back, and enjoy some chill neoclassical vibes with that warm vinyl sound right here on Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Ah, uh, squirrel. close Wait a minute. It looks like small things survive, like rats and cats and squirrels, but... What do you guys think about bears? Do you think bears survived? Uh-oh. Slim Pickens, thanks for being here. Do it again. Oh, that was not bad. Pretty close. Skip available? No way. We're not skipping. Now oh, we're getting real close though. Too far. Radio Nostalgia. Okay, too low. Oh, there we go. I wonder if we can get it up on the carousel. Yep. Oh, the squirrel can come out of there too. Oh, he went in the hole. Okay. <laughs> With all the other balls. <laughs> Keck W. That little rascal. That wait, that means we got a hole in one. If ever that squirrel gets your if he ever catches your golf ball, he just brings it straight to the uh, brings it straight to his little nest. 
Skyscraper hopping. These hazmat clad Martians were collecting samples. Surprise. Marketing technique. Okay. Damn, this music is banging. Not a single Keck W emote. Wow. Today's stream brought to you by Casper Mattress, Mattress Giant. Ambien and uh, melatonin. Nope, too late now. Nope. Oh, the wind will carry it. Okay. And that ball is so much heavier than it looks. Okay, much better. Okay, on to the next one. We're not. Looks like going up's gonna be better. like a better move or not nope um wow Rubius, thank you very much for the thirteen ninety nine. Big thanks to Raptor for something else to watch in the news right now. Thanks for the commentary. Thanks for watching. Good to have you here. Lego heart emotes. Lego heart emotes. Oh, the wind carries it from there. From neoclassical to electronica, we really do have it all here on Radio Nostalgia oh. from Mars. First we heard an original vinyl with music from an unknown composer. Lost to time, I'm afraid. All I can say is it's a white label test pressing found in a recycling bin with just the word Aftermath written across the label. After that we got the blood pumping with an upbeat nope. tune from Polytech AD. And their classic tune, Do You Love Me? Want to keep that blood pumping? Remember, exercise is what? mandatory. No the wind's bones, not even there. No bones. It's like up here. Good exercise is just as important to get on down to your local rec center for a dose of mentally stimulating tea there we activities go. and some delicious mass. Okay, on to our next caller for the show. 
Money reminds us that one person's pleasure is another person's pain, and that we might not all relax in the same way to the same things. I wonder if we can land on these. I go back in a heartbeat. Tesla City is unbearable. As far as I'm concerned, this promised land is anything but a dictatorship without oxygen. All these daily routines and protocols and everything we took for granted on Earth is so exhausting. Is it safe to take off your hazmat to breathe? Is the water distilled from all our urine really safe? And exactly what behavior will trigger a social credit emotion? Not to mention, every sneeze is suspect. There we the go. The whole dome has to be sanitized if someone even sniffles. Hey, we damn it. I think we figured it out during the pandemic. I know social distancing up here is impossible, but how freaking difficult is it to keep your hands clean and just not sneeze on stuff? Oh. Anyway, maybe that's humanity in a nutshell. Thank you, Seagull. All, we walked on the moon before really learning to walk on her. I digress. I just want to say that the effort put into maintaining basic life function in the state of the art society outweighs the benefit of being alive. Use your head, can't you? Use your Ooh, head. Close. On Earth, there's no cure for that. Sam Beckett wrote that in any We're not here, regardless of what our de facto overlords think. It's ironic that the only thing we manage to export culturally onto another planet is a Silicon Valley brand of Protestantism. Oh, come Sorry for on. rambling. Anyway, I called into the program to share some Earth sounds. I there we go. I'm sure listeners of RNFM who Woo. suffer from nostalgia like me will appreciate them. In the meditation dome, we can listen to the light sounds uh, of what? the Tuscan country. Did you, do did you dopamine? But along the way, the Danube, below the they were also falls. golfing and hunting. I went to the meditation dome a few times, but just like yoga, I can't stand it. Simply, I don't miss nature at all. I was never a nature person, never really liked hiking or camping. I miss the city. This whole predicament started because we mixed with wilderness in the first place. This bullshit about mother nature sugarcoated the fact that maybe we were supposed to keep a sharp boundary between ourselves and the wild. And now we're demoted from earthling to miserable Martian status. So at the end of every day, or I mean soul, I escape into texts I brought along. I drink that horrid canteen coffee and listen to urban sounds I recorded 15 years ago. So Brickshaw? Mostly in New York and London. Welcome to the stream. Here are some of my favorite sounds. Here's the sound of my bicycle rolling down the street. Oh my God. How many hole in ones do we have? Um, two, maybe three. In the morning, a call and response of cars and birds. And the giggling of my kids in Washington Square as a group of street performers play the boombox and do tricks. Wait, isn't that just... Oh, that's not a canyon. That's like grass. I thought that was like a pit. A kettle going off and the smell of Turkish coffee. Damn it. A lovely sound, and man. For some reason, I'm obsessed with the sound of the New York MTA. Oh, what? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, well, that sucks. That means we gotta go up.
There we go. It was a trap. Okay, there's the wind again. Better. Hey Chad, do you guys make anything special on Sundays for dinner? Or do you like, do you go out for pizza on Sunday or burgers or anything special? Look at all the rocket sites in the background. That was close. Sushi time today? Oh, that is that is a damn fine uh, suggestion. Sushi's good. I used to do a lot of uh, roasts and or um, roasts or like uh, roast pork tenderloin, but uh, roast beef was always good. Something with potatoes though. Something where I could make something with potatoes, especially now in the winter. Sunday's always a good time for that. You had Wendy's for the first time yesterday in many months? That rabbit looks sus. Wait, oh, right here. I didn't even notice him. Yeah, all the animals have, like, glowing... Well, actually, we, we did see some cows at the very beginning, so there could be radioactive bears. Oh, soup Sunday? Yeah, soup would be fine. the hole on this one. Oh, right there. So that's going to blow all the leaves out of the way. So we got to get there somehow. Sundays are for pizza? Oh, yeah. Oh, gravy, yeah. Yeah, gravy with potatoes is... Yeah. I'm wondering if anybody slow roasts, like... Or not slow roasts, but maybe, like, slow cooks uh, ribs or... That was a nice, maybe a steak or something. Chicken curry with, bas oh, basmati rice, yeah. We did it. See, it's an illusion. heavy. Ah, too much bounce at the end. Shoulder marinated in Dr. Pepper. Wow. Mmm, T bone steak and chips. Chat's got some good suggestions. There we go. 
Which one's better, SimCity 4 or City Skylines? Uh, both are great, but uh, with City Skylines being more modern, it has a ton, an absolute ton, 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 ton of more mod support and DLCs. Both games are fun, though. So it depends on, like, if you're looking for a nostalgic experience, but uh, City Skylines probably the one that'll take more of your time in a good way. Wow, look at that, boys. Oh, that was a... Uh... Thank you, Mania, for sharing both your thoughts and your favorite sounds with us. That was like a rocket pad or something. That MTA recording actually got me digging into my proverbial record crate because it reminded me of this old track from my DJ days back on Earth called Tokyo 320. A minimal tech house homage to life in the commute and traveling while standing still. Wonderful stuff. Not so wonderful though is a space of ecoplastic stockpiling occurring in sectors seven. Rocket to Mars, and they turned on the neon signs around Alphaville. Ecoplastic items are freely dispensed at conveniently located kiosks around Tesla City. So there's simply no need to hoard any ecoplastic items. In fact, hoarding them deprives the 3D printers of the recyclable material they need to make them freely available. So your stockpiling is kind of defeating the point of renewable resources. There's a 14 sole grace period to return all parts not in use. No questions asked. Present your boarding pass, official ID, alpha health proof, point one. Besides, wealth management form 11024. On, it's just one thing you can't stockpile. Oh, it's a command center of the world. Jack Daniels marinated bacon wrapped meatloaf. Wow. That sounds like a lot of work, but probably really good. That's a lot of emotional baggage. Emotional baggage. Well, I think we want to go down because the x-ray machine would be interesting. I want to see what happens if we go down there. I think we just got to get lucky then and land. Or not. Nope. Um, I guess we could go across and then back down. that all the good things in the world are no substitute for love. So if you've recently matched with someone via our repopulation program and you've received a date for your first meetup, don't forget to add it to your mandatory diary. There does mandatory. seem to be some confusion about scheduling based on the new double month standard, but it's really quite simple, guys. There are now 24 months in our year, and there are two of each month, January 1 and January 2. February 1... February 2, and so on. Each month is now 28 souls long, except for every six months, which is 27 souls long. I hope that clears up the situation. Wait, that means you'd have two birthdays, birthdays a year. In writing, please, 
can be submitted directly to the Mars Coalition for the simplification of the Martian calendar. So, from trains and city soundscapes to rhythms born out of hands and feet, water and drums, we continue our journey into the past, into our collective memories of Earth, mm. a celebration of sound as music, music as sound, and voices that carry us into the stars. In that vein, a friendly reminder that silence is deadly. If you hear nothing, please report it. <laughs> General machine noise means we are being kept alive. Speaking of keeping us alive, two equals one. Duplicates are not spares, people. Everything on Mars is duplicated for security, so please do not cannibalize existing tech. If something breaks, head directly to the spares and parts department in Sector 5 to submit your report and apply for official replacements. Nope. I need to know the lore. I need to know the x-ray lore. There we go. Whew. Perfect. All right, let's see what's up with our guy. Well, he seems normal. Okay. Well, I hope that was worth it. Oh, really? Elevator. All right, nice. What's up, Curtis? All right, looks like we need to go. Oh, we can just go left. Your home away from home. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Now, as much as we appreciate our regular callers, there is one person we would really love to hear from. A man many of us owe our lives to. Our national hero, the Mars mission pilot, who brought us here safely so many years ago. Believe it or not, he finally made it back to Earth. After all these years, his dream finally came true. Hmm. As we all know, he's had a very difficult time adapting to life here on Mars. We all have, just not in the public eye like him. So Charlie, this is Radio Nostalgia from Mars, personally reaching out to you. Charlie, we'd really appreciate it if you took some time to share a bit of the atmosphere of Earth with us. I'm sure many of our listeners are eager to hear your thoughts on being back. Just speak into the mic in your helmet. A few recorded words. Anything. Wait, what? Oh, he's taking his helmet off, bro. Well, it's worth a shot. I know he's the biggest fan of Radio Nostalgia from Mars, and he's probably listening now from the rooftop somewhere in Alphaville. So stay tuned the boy. to see if he responds. But to be honest, 
I don't think we'll be hearing from him anytime soon, sadly. Oh well, who can blame him? Let's not spoil the weird moment any longer. Continue our own trip down memory. Guido scaffolding. This time I was less afraid. I watched the golfer from the bushes. I guess he was having a nap? Okay, I guess we're going up to the top there. Might be able to go left? That seems way simpler. Or maybe not. I don't think we'll be able to reach. Let's try, though. Oh, wow. Better. Diary entry unlocked. Tower of Babel. He was the Mars mission pilot during the Great Catastrophe. Oh, it's a bunch of shopping carts. Third World Organic. Ah, yes. Every one of these carts is somebody thinking, someone else will get this. It's not my responsibility. I don't have to bring this cart that I took back to the cart corral for anyone else. It's all about me. Let's see what the diary said. Uh, from this vantage point through the milky fog ruins, looks like the remnants of an experiment. The painting Wander Above the Sea Frog, a Fog embodies the sublime in romanticism. The image of today, a hazmat-clad astronaut standing above radioactive landscapes with broken neon signs. It's It's time for our last caller, a senior geologist at Tesla University gives us a slightly different perspective on ecology from his research lab at the South Pole. Damn you, door! F you! God. Damn that door to hell. As a geologist, it always annoyed me that the color of Earth conservation was green. Seen from space, the majority of the Earth's surface is blue, with the remaining 29% for land. And of that land, deserts make up one third of the land surface area. Sweeping burns of ochre, rust, and gold. Cream. Give me a break. <laughs> anyway, as a lifelong acolyte of sun and sand, I'm not up here pining for jungles and wetlands. I yearn for wheat log expeditions into the desert, traversing dunes big enough to swallow entire towns in one sideways drift. Oh, to be 
feel that oven hot wind dry as a bone on my face. There's more dust in my veins than water. I can tell you that much. It astonishes me that people up here are oblivious to the fact that it's our understanding of living in deserts that makes life up here on Mars even possible. The early days of Mars habitation experiments took place in the Gobi Desert and in Hawaii on the side of a barren volcano, not in a protected marshland in the Okavango, you get me? What did the last trees of the Black Forest give us except fuel for our final fires? The desert saved us. Oh, I mean, the irony is not lost on me, but no Sahara, no Amazon, no Gobi, no Mars. Where do you think the Amazon basin was getting all its fertile sand from? Blown over from Africa, that's where. How do we know how to recycle oh my water God. to near 99% efficiency? The Gobi Desert. There was always so much focus on saving the planet, saving the whales, saving bees, saving the trees. With the deserts, am I right? Make them green. <laughs> I knew it was over when those idiots deliberately tried to flood parts of the Sahara mm. with one species of tree. I mean, come on. A publicity stunt by a French paper manufacturer <laughs> with deeper pockets and no one blinked an eye. It was meant to help, but the Sahara tree project literally there we go. poured salt into the wound. It started out well enough, but some unknown fungus wiped them all out, but not before they had sucked all the fertile phosphorus out of the sun blowing over the Atlantic. Effectively salting the Amazon basin like an Italian grandmother making tomato sauce. And then there was no turning back. Deserts are why we exist at all, you know. Now as much as then, so history repeats itself. To paraphrase geologist okay, we're almost William Graybow, the ancestors of modern man did not leave the trees, the trees left them. So, are we then the neo-great apes leaving the proverbial trees? The stars, our new savannah? From that perspective, we didn't leave Earth so much as Earth left us. Custom spines. The desert was always one step ahead, and in a way, we oh. started living on Mars before we even left. <laughs> Damn it, now. Not all of us up here pine for the fjords. Put me in the desert camp for sure. That searing blue sky and endless horizon. Wow, those things broke easily. I'm still not used to how close the horizon here is on Mars. And the strange sky still throws me off when I see it. And apparently I'm not the only one. First try! The relaxation department has asked me to remind those complaining about the red color filter on the windows of Atlas the shattered, observation but he hated his new life. Sky on he was lonely on the blue, red planet. Salmon pink. So please bear that in mind when submitting your request to visit the outer domes. And also bear in mind that the waiting list is now double months long. So book early for the experience. Who the hell is that? Your tight beamed to radio nostalgia from Mars. Let's take a trip into the desert. the game narrator talking about Earth? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes they're also talking about their base on Mars. You think it's Jeff Bezos? You think it's Tucker Hat? No way, that could not be Tucker. No way could that be Tucker Hat.
Nope. Well, that worked out. Wait, what? Oh, it hit the bottom of his big ass chin. I was gonna try to go up here. Okay. Cousin, cousin Astro Hat. Okay. <sighs> if I go left, I think the same thing's gonna happen. So here, let's use this like a ramp. That didn't work either. All right. Jimmy, thanks for being a raptor egg again. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. All right, we're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, we could go left or we could go to the tube. Quite frankly, I want to see the tube animation. Pretty close. Yo, Charge440, thanks for the 10 months as a little raptor. Thank you very much for the support. Sad face. All right, a little more power. Uh, the game does count strokes, yeah. You just don't see it on screen. Well, that brings us towards the end of this particular show. Damn it. I hope you've enjoyed. You can see strokes right uh, here. From music to stories and memories, Radio Nostalgia from Mars has it all. If you want to be involved with RNFM, have a story to tell, a memory to share, contact us via the usual intranet channels and leave a short message. Wait, what? That didn't go in the pipe? Big thank you to our show sponsor, OMAS, the No Stress No Oh, Plus you got to get it in over here. Elite. My bad. And a big thank you to Corporate for allocating us this precious time and their resources on this tight beam to you. Okay. No way. I hope you've enjoyed the show. It's been an absolute pleasure to share this time with you. We're playing out now with some uplifting melodic techno to remind us to always look onwards and upwards. We may have traded blue skies for pink, but don't forget, we still live what? and love under the same sun. Like the, the ball hit the fence, but it was going to the left, not to the right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that should be a little better. It's further away from the fence. Now. Oh. No.
Wait, and consider the cardboard box to be a hazard? It wouldn't like let me give a full swing. Uh, oh, oh, I think the level crashed. Oh no. Oh. oh darn. Oh, I think the level. Oh. Oh, I think it crashed, guys. Oh darn it. Oh. Oh. Oh man. I wonder if I can bounce it off the left here, off this wood. Yep. Okay, so we could probably go up. This transmission will repeat in 30 seconds. Maybe not, though. This transmission will repeat in 20 seconds. In 15 seconds. In 10 seconds. In 5 seconds. Oh, darn. In 1 second. What if I get it on the boxes? Hello, all you Martians out there. It's your turn. Fix uh, up. So probably not gonna work. A bit of that old world flavor. You choose. All right, let's go left then. From Mars. Breathe easy. Kick back. There we go. And reminisce. Take my hand. Explain it me. I don't think we can get up there. Don't let go. Wow, we did it. That we shouldn't be sad when we think of the road ahead. Take my hand. Don't let go. Huxley was right. The pilot was sad because he didn't I save his family. We won't get lost. Oh no. Akia. Party down chat, yeah. Club Soma. Golf Club Wasteland Soma. Turbo Folk. They want me to go into the... Uh, tube down there, but where does it come out? Up at the top of the roof. And across here, and then just down into this little cage? Okay. I don't know how I feel about post-apocalyptic pink smoke, but okay. Bang it! Soundtrack's big. After the stream, 
on the Discord, I'll show you guys how many DMCA claims I get off this one because it's it's either going to be 5,000 or like zero. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. Anyway, thanks again for all the new memberships and thanks for all the big O super chats. That helps. Thanks. Wow. Wow. No. Close. Underground, he was full of ju uh, guilt and nostalgia. Bitcoin. Don't let go. The signs are fake and the maps are false. But we must go. Oh. Oh, damn. Are you also mining coins? He drank himself to sleep on wine distilled from toilet water. Okay, at this point, I don't know if he's hallucinating or... Something's gonna happen. This is too simple. Too simple. Start that. There also seems to be a, a story that plays out in the diary, but we gotta get enough strokes for it. Like, a slimy, slippery, chlorine colored creature will swallow me in a gulp. Mark Zuckerberg? Ooh, that was close. Adeline, thank you very much for the 1999. Thank you very much. Ramen packets in chat for you. Thank you for your support. Oh, of course. It can go in the grates. Okay. Great. Much better. I can get dino nuggets now. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's like Plinko. There we go. Fuck. 
Fossil under Eiffel. Uh, through connections at Golf Club Wasteland, he went on a solo trip. Do not feed Ursula. We're in a museum basement? That'd be Ursula. Uh oh. Things are getting creepy. Boop, boop, boop. It doesn't even sound like it's hitting metal. It sounds like, um. Alex's house. Oh, we're literally in a, like, a Parisian bunker. Oh, there's a grate there. Oh, boy. Oh, this one's really hard because of it. Oh, man. All right, we got to take it slow. No, okay. Well, that's... Yep. I guess that's slow. It sounds like uh, keypad noises, like being at the ATM or something. And now we gotta land here. Nope. Oh, wait, you can. Oh. Well, if I would have known, I could. Okay. Tailbox, thank you very much for the nine Swedish kroner. Tax amicit. it. Oh boy. Wow, that scared the hell out of me. Okay. Oh. It's a ton of nuclear waste in there. Just a platform game. You see, in Tesla City, they don't have gravity like here. Parallax view. Oh, nice. Looks like the bottom of these barrels scrape the uh, top of it. Oh, there's a rat. Maybe I can go over the top? I I don't think so because there's a pole there, yeah. Damn. Much better. That's a better spot to beat.
I love the noise of the shoes. There we go. Wait. Oh, that was close. Got him. What's the half-life of uranium? But the pilot had other reasons. He wanted to revisit his past. Signs are fake and the maps are false. But we must go on. Oh my god. There's a way to get it down there. That seems so much easier. What? I was aiming left. Five levels left to go. We're about to see the ending. Incoming ending. Wow, what a way to start the show. Actually, we should go a little more. A little more. A little more. My hand, her sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come in to Soul Show. A show packed with stories. Ooh, that was good. Remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back oh. at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, nope. authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. Radio Nostalgia from Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. Hey man, brother. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be my day started something like this I check Reuters and my sheets see if there's been a change in the fundamentals see if the spreads up or down and then when the clock strikes go I'm on the phone I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble Kansas where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number that's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <laughs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than cents. Screaming at waiters, because, uh, you don't drink gin out of a glass like that. 
And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces. Eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who was five foot and nothing. That was pretty much my life, 24-7. I traveled a lot. Meeting Same clients all over spot. the world. The Amazon, the Gulf, Siberia, Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it wasn't. <sighs> I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl. That's better. No! Mix of That's worse. Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana. A dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nod of... What is this guy talking about? Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe them there. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. Thank God, we did it. The Mars project was planned. My kids, four kids, clowns, plants, animals, evident. ruins. It was a beautiful. It was beautiful and the sad. The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful, so I adapted my skills to something more practical. Oh, of course. Now we are all the bears. Keeps this little planet running. I can't go I one game without bears. Martian There's cement for the buildings. Just how it always goes. My pure little Emma has a future. Yep. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me that will be hailing as heroes. It's men like me who saved humanity. Yep. That men explains like it right there. Than we ever dreamt possible. Yep. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars. Yep. But we're all in it together now. And remain creatures of the world. Where do we gotta go? Your tight beam to radio nostalgia from Mars. Okay. Music for the lost days of Earth. What? How does this ball weigh three million pounds? Yep, it's always bears. How do I feel about Banjo Kazooie? Unplayable. Literally unplayable. Oh, great. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know I could hit the conveyor belt. Nice. I thought that was going to be way harder.
There we go. We did it. All right. Cotton candy grass. He wanted to breathe in the air, but kept his hazmat suit on. Is this Wally? Wally. The smell of sweat and blood from stone. The news is lost. The children go. Enter the rat race to battle home. Embrace a new call. Skyless dome. What kind of music we listen to? Uh, Reaches Mars. Mars music. Guys, plus musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior Section team leaders will conduct emergency counseling and anger management courses. Oh. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four. This is not what you were expecting it to be. Team. This game. I mean, teams are encouraged to take advantage golf of the half ration special on Unless on a destroyed earth. I mean, this kind of reminds me of um, Chat was mentioning it earlier too. All of the um, like the flash games of the two thousands. takes us into her Just a little bit more polished. Smells sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps. Alex. Fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. No, don't go that way. Okay. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia. Not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I go. was 20 when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt the ruins of neo futurism. Sensing he was being followed, he Mars looked around. Doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, coconut. Mama's food, <gasps> ropa vieja, an de la Easter bolita, egg. El Congris, we la discovered the secret food. level. The most beautiful San Malecon. The smell of my street when the rain falls. All of that make me into the person I am. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell uh. of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is by singing. Como fue? 
No sé decirte cómo fue. No sé explicarme qué pasó. Pero de ti me enamoré. Fue una luz que iluminó todo mi ser. Tu risa como manantial llenó mi vida de inquietud. That's better. Very good. Hopefully we don't fall out this left side. O tu boca. Fueron tus manos o tu voz. No. Unplayable. Fue lo mejor la impaciencia de tanto esperar tu llegada. Más no sé, no sé decirte. She sounds so sad. I think this song's about her forgetting to... She forgot to click or tap join and become a member. Oh, that poor woman. Can I go up this way? Thank you, oh, I'm literally trapped. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. True. Purchase consume. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. Needs no introduction. Argue all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment, relax, and remember with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Yeah, voilà. A Russian and an American move together in space. Very different sight from the Cold War arms race. Bon. Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoevsky, Yesenian or Jack London, two astronauts. Argued about art, that is an international relations, two astronauts. America would be like Iraq, so would be like Czech, and then the Indian movie, and I would be like Koreans, and Vietnam, so for us, for us, no. Democracy, you don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer under the sun. Your history is long. It's Tan's theme song. It's called Two Astronauts. Argued about art. That is an international relations. Two astronauts. Nice, that's good. Same thrill on their space wall. You're digging the music? Good. How the hell am I supposed to get it out of there? Wow, I got it. Oh my god. Mm, damn it. Ah. Oh, good. Okay, that could have been way worse. That could have been way worse. Pinto blessed to that one. It could have been way worse. No, oh, oh man, that could have been great. Got it, boys. Got him. 
Metro. But then the pilot saw me. Thirty-four out of thirty-five. We're almost there. We got to get up there somehow. Yeah, that was a badass shot. That was lucky too. Kid, I I need my ball back. Don't you hey Touch the sun? The hell? End of the chorus. High radiation ahead. Please return to your caddy vehicle. Radiation ahead? I've literally been walking around in radiation for like an hour. Oh, all I need is pillow to the sun? The hell? We'll play it safe. Got to shoot the gap. No. What if we can go in through the window of the door? station. Hey, I know where that is. and arguably the first interplanetary. I think that's the monument to Yuri Gagarin. The great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Pretty sure. Speaking of requests, please follow habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including. That's a really pee. cool monument. Some of you don't like it, but all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. Speaking of pee and poop, we recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony, and our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like. It is? To be yeah, isn't it? Mother. Hold on, let me see. On went to Yuri. Oh wait, that's different. Uh, monument to. For... Wait, I've seen that before though. Yuri Gagarin's actually him. What about? Oh wait, maybe this is it. Uh, 
Monument to the... F oh, this is it. Monument to the Conquerors of Space. March 1958. Northeastern part of Moscow. Pretty close match. On Mars. I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. The more you know. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing teamwork involved. As angel investors, my husband and I got early. Edge of the course, the edge of the woods. And walk so towards me outside the surveilled area. Oh, I can I can walk on my own now. Kid. Come here, kid. I got Roblox keys. Come on, kid. Got some got some Robux here for you. Yep, 33 trillion Robux. Don't don't you run. Oh dear. I didn't know there were mountains inside Moscow. <laughs> ah, kick W. Wow. So he returned to play a round of golf, but more of a scam to just go back home because he couldn't save his family. So he found that kid that somehow survived, and maybe there's other survivors out there too, and people will come back. Kind of like Wally, I guess. That was cool. Certainly just like a fun little golf game with some fun little music on the side, but then a actual touching story with. Locations like Paris, London, um, Moscow, Berlin, a lot of European cities. That's one hell of a big ass golf course from Paris to <laughs> to London to Berlin. That's a big boy obstacle course right there. Oh wait, what? There's more? Officially I was a national hero, one of the Mars mission pilots. But I ended up as a glorified delivery boy. 
They just gave me something to do and stay away from public gatherings and Tesla city domes. On Mars, I delivered stuff from the Citizen Delight Center to Tesla City. Skr, skr. Uh, the vehicle was so mangled I could hardly drive it, and I couldn't focus. My mind was in a permanent haze. Turn the music down. The human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. Wait, there's more to the story. I want to know. The bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, we can see the earth tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might oh, there it is. experience the beauty of it explains how we got here. The nature, coastline. Uh, three, two, one, and lift off. The last time I heard her voice was the countdown. She worked in the control tower during launching. Oh, this is why he broke down emotionally at the launch towers. I'll see you soon. Promise. We're in this together. Love you to the stars and back. I was supposed to return in a couple of years and evacuate all of Alphaville with the uh, reusable rockets, but that never happened. I was betrayed, and in turn I betrayed her, not to mention 99% of the world. As time passed on Mars, in my sad, bitter state, I became a walking reminder of broken promises, false dreams. In their experiment, scarce on oxygen and gravity, I was a disturbance to the fragile public morale. So I was appointed to the position of a truck driver. Amen, brother. Oh, this is the origin story of Tucker Hat. Oh, amen, brother. He just lost his hair, you know, because of radiation and stuff. Actually, no, this is why Tucker Hat wears a hat, bro. This is the origin story of Tucker Hat. Oh, my God. Wow. I just couldn't participate in the sham of interplanetary humanity, as the Tesla CE, a city CEO called it. Instead, I drank myself numb with wine made of the awful piss-recycled water. And this went on for years. Uh, until one night, with the help of my only friend, uh, Pilot Sergei, I sneaked into the docking bay of the Golf Club Wasteland and into the caddy ship. Later, Sergei told me the CEO knew all along. On the last trip, a senior member of the club disappeared. Oh wait, all those, all those companies made it. Uh, in a way, they used me as bait for whatever dangerous creatures emerged on the post-apocalyptic Earth. The journey was long and difficult, but I was determined to return home. Entering the atmosphere was miraculous. Upon landing, I started sobbing. It felt like a new, transformed world with scattered reminders of our old illusions. With my jetpack in my wobbly hazmat suit, I was a Martian revisiting places I once used to take for granted. Lego heart emote in chat. And these are definitely real, real world locations. This one is, I'm pretty sure. As you trailed me, I probably look strange to you, roaming alone like that. Our industrial structures are now covered by nature's intricate veins, or vines, webs, and rhizomo? rhizomes? Clasping all of the vein projects in strong, organic embrace. Beautiful. And sad. Aw, giraffe. Wait, is this what happened to Toys R Us? Oh, God. Tucker Hat origin story and the Toys R Us ending story. People left outside of... El People left outside of Alphaville perished in the great ecological catastrophe, and I'm responsible. 
Now over their dead bodies, the ultra-rich citizens of Mars play golf. Always keep Ithaca in your mind. The woman? Oh dear. Eventually I went back to the crime scene, the launch site in Alphaville. I took out my helmet and after all those years in the Martian lab setting, I took a deep breath of actual air. Then I sat, sat in her chair in the control room and I ended up uh, saving myself by playing the heroic part of the great pilot. It's exactly that self-serving uh, faux self sacrifice for high <laughs> Fulton uh, tr transhumanist salvation that brought me uh, that brought us to the end. But then I knew something or someone was following me. Huh? I was shocked when I saw a kid. After years of Martian authorities claiming no human form could survive on Earth, you show up. Hoglad. Joy. That's the only way I can describe how I'm feeling now. Joy. Kid, I'm getting hungry. You have to teach me how to catch those mutant fish. The environment is killing me. I don't have your immunity to this new world. Yet I couldn't be happier. The end. Oh, they actually have a... Wait, this is an original game soundtrack? Oh, you can actually buy the soundtrack separately? Claim your digital soundtrack. To download, scan the code using your smartphone. Uh oh, that's supposed to be mine. Oh, well. Oops. All right. And then there's more stuff in the diary. I guess this is like super hidden lore for playing the game again. Not even hidden lore, but probably just stuff on top of the story. A little more detail. Like this. When I was a kid, I thought of building... Uh, the building was an ugly piece of brutalist modernism named after a communist company. Later, I renamed it after some post-communist tycoon. Now I love it. Naming is important in the... They named the new capital Tesla City. Not sure Nikola Tesla would have approved, given his history with despicable businessmen. Cast in shade. Yeah. So beat beat the game. Do good and beat game, and there'll be more lore. Uh. Or, oh, there you go. Oh, my God. We're at plus 25. 25 more strokes than we should have. Thank you, Sophia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life always finds a way. Oh, you can... Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains... You can do it one at the end. Not bad. Here on Mars. So Not too many of the courses are one. Wow, look at this one. Par 18, we did 17. Corporate is looking wow. into extending this time frame. Not bad. From B, C, plus five is probably the worst we did. Oh no, no, no. Oh, plus fourteen. Oh, twenty. Oh. Plus fifteen. Oh my god. Actually, wait. If I shave those two off, that'll be pretty good. That'll cut uh, almost thirty right off the top. Not bad. As it should. Cool. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to be it for our live stream of Golf Club Wasteland, a really fun game with a good... There's like two levels of story afterwards. There's like the game, and then the story kind of... There's some story that takes place in the game. Then there's the diaries for getting everything basically under par. Uh, and then also there's the story at the end of Charlie's Odyssey of basically not having a family, meeting a wonderful woman on his way to Mars, and then not being allowed to come back, and then eventually coming back, but then meeting a kid, which was kind of cool to... Uh, and like reclaim his earthiness because he didn't want to be on Mars. So he actually he actually was with somebody who was born on Earth and was living on Earth rather than somebody who moved to Mars 
transplant or somebody who is new born on Mars. Like that one girl they mentioned, Sophie, in the radio. Damn good soundtrack. Damn cool art style. Damn good concept. And it's like one of those uh, Flash games except with a much more broad story, which is cool, too. Kind of kind of good, good investment of your time. Probably about three hours to beat the game and then maybe about another hour uh, just to, like, go back and get anything you may have missed. Not bad. Not, not bad. Plus some good replayability, too, for whenever you're bored and want to go through the story again. All right, folks. I'll see you in a few hours um, for our next stream of Star Citizen. Hopefully Red, Alex, Jerry, maybe some others show up. If you have that game, you're more than welcome to join us. Though I don't know what we'll be doing or where we'll be going. So I'll just kind of go along for the ride. See you guys later today for more Big O streams. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you all next time. Thanks again, and welcome to all the new members. Don't forget to jump on the Discord. We'll have some giveaways and such on there for everybody when we hit our member goals. Become a member today by clapping that join button. You can join for literally the price of a pack of gum, if you're interested. And we'll drop keys for all sorts of games, AAA, indie titles, and much more on the Discord. Everybody's welcome on the Discord. You don't have to be a member, but I definitely would suggest that you subscribe. And, of course, you have to be on the Discord if you're going to win something, so jump on. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Take care. How do you run in Star Citizen? Listen, you're running me wild, okay? You're, you're driving me crazy. That's what you're doing. I'll see you later, chat. Goodbye. And, wow, yet another game with bears. Imagine that. <laughs> Have a great day, folks. I'll see you soon. New video on the channel and some new videos tomorrow, too. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.